joined tonight on our Great Great American panel. He is an attorney, author of Crimes Against Liberty, a number one New York Times bestseller. He launched the uh, book right here on this program. Our friend David Limbaugh is back. She is a former advisor to uh, soon to be ex Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid and former <laughs> Communications Director for soon to be ex Governor Ed Rendell. Yes, uh, Penny Lee is here, and he's a former business executive. He now is a political consultant, blogger at realworldview.com. Uh, Dan Real is here. Uh, all right, uh, the great one, uh, mutual friend, Mark Levin. He takes on Gloria Allred over this issue involving Meg Whitman. This is how it goes down. Is she an illegal alien? No. She's not an illegal alien? She's not an illegal alien. She's not from another planet. She is not no, she's from Nicaragua. Not, she's a human all right, being so, and a working Yeah, I know she's a human person. being. Cut out the bull crap. It's lawyer to lawyer now. Is she an illegal no, alien? You said no. It's not lawyer to lawyer. It's Gloria, the person who's giving respect Gloria, to the Gloria, is she an illegal alien or not? Yes or no? You said no. She's not, right? No, she's not an illegal alien. She's an undocumented worker. My client is a housekeeper, and some people don't respect a housekeeper. I happen to respect housekeepers. I think they Aren't work Aren't you really swell? Hard. Now answer my question. I'm answering the question. You Let put your client in legal jeopardy. I, I don't need a lecture from a liberal about housekeepers. Okay, well... I asked right. you about your client and the legal jeopardy that this that your client is in now. Wow. Uh, checkmate Levin. Ooh, that was a tough interview. I mean, he was firm and absolutely... T he was right the on the issue? He was right on the issue. And actually, I have to say, the, the uh, interview that you just gave with Meg did a one important thing, which was trying to stop the bleeding, because the one thing that she has... She had, stopped it. She, she has mm. tried to stop it, and it, I think it, did, it moved it in the right, right direction, which was a good thing for L her to do tonight, because she humanized it, which she hadn't done before, and David, she put I, a human I, face I, on it. I think, you're, I think Penny is actually right there, and secondly, uh, I think she did all due diligence in this case, yep. but more importantly, I think this woman... Gloria did put her client in jeopardy. There's a series of laws now that it appears that this woman broke, and, you know, she's probably going to be deported. You know, the whole thing is uh, you've got Jerry Brown out there acting as much of a buffoon as Joe Biden, and they got to do something to distract from the issues. I mean, she, he's disorganized. He's saying stuff off the cuff all the time. She's real disciplined. She, they're pretty close in the polls, and they come up with this bogus uh, allegation against her. She did everything right. She got that notice. There wasn't anything to it. If she had done anything about it, she would have been putting herself in jeopardy. She fired her as soon as she knew that she was supposed to fire her. And, you know, another, has anybody asked this? Would someone who has been outspoken about illegal immigration uh, had made an issue about it publicly just when they're running for office? Listen, listen, she, she got rid of her, what, last summer? Yeah, yeah. last know. summer. And I think Mark did exactly what you have to do with that, where it was clear Allred is trying to paint this picture to make you focus on this woman as though she's an innocent, as though she's a victim, and they're creating kind of a, a little movie picture, mm -hmm. and the only way to get through that is to bull rush it in some cases, and I, I think that's what Mark did. But this did. is the politics of personal destruction. Penny, this is yeah, all your is. party got left. Your party's not going <laughs> to it's both sides. Stop. Of the, both Stop. Sides of the I don't want to hear both. Oh, Listen American to me. Crossroads. Come on, Listen, Sean. Oh, you cannot what, sit there explain, and say <laughs> Carl Rove and Ed Gillespie's <laughs> organization. I have hasn't a question. Stop the filibuster. I don't want to hear it. Negative ads Listen, out there, Sean. Penny. Explain to me, is there any Democrat running on health care stimulus or cap and tax that you know of? Absolutely. Who? Harry Reid. And you know what? He's going to win. You know and what? he's going to win you know in November. 14% unemployment. Sean, 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 Sean trying to paint his opponent as an extremist because well, he doesn't. Because she is. Because she absolutely is. I mean, all, no, all he is, is doing is she's exposing she's her. Every ad he's been running is a negative ad. Isn't it a little ironic that they're acting like she's victimized and they're also acting like Meg Whitman did something wrong? Now, which is it? If Meg, if Meg Whitman exposed her illegality and, and fires her, fired her, you would think that the Democrats would be applauding that. Yeah. But, but how can they say she's a victim? Hey, by the way, this is the very thing the Arizona immigration law is about. Are we going to enforce the law? Is the law meaningful or not meaningful? In California, clearly it's it's not, except when they can use it as a political uh, weapon what, for the politics of personal destruction, right. what's which is Penny's party and what oh, Penny's it's party is doing. Parties. This is an what's awful Gloria's season beef? that we're in. What's this Gloria's beef? Uh, she's putting her client what, in jeopardy. What, what's yeah. the complaint about right, the client? Gotta, that they fired her when she was illegal? We'll is that the complaint? Is that damage? Congrats on the book. Thank you. And congrats what on your website. Is, what book? And congrats. we're coming at it next when we get back. All right, what we'll book? continue with, with our panel next. And we continue now with our great, great American panel. Uh, I love the fact I've been calling uh, Ram Emanuel Ram Rambo Deadfish. So Deadfish <laughs> leaves today. And what did he get? A dead fish. Now, when I first started nicknaming him that, I was excoriated. 
Right. But apparently it's all right for the White House, just like you can't say Barack Hussein Obama until your, your inauguration. Well, Democrats are always allowed to do things we aren't allowed to do. We know that, right? That's, there's nothing yeah, unique there, there. Did you ever see anything wrong with seeing it, saying Barack Hussein Obama? No, that was his full name, absolutely Okay, then not. how come everybody that said it during the election was excoriated? Look, his name is Barack. He, he ran for Barack Hussein Obama. He didn't run away from it. He said it was his name. So Bill I mean, Cunningham was, in, in Cincinnati I mean, said it at a rally and was, remember yeah. that, David? Oh, yeah. 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 Sarah Palin said it uh, a week or so ago on, on Fox. Yeah, but before and it the election, it was different. News. Once he was, once, you know, he, he said Barack Hussein Obama, right. then it was Look, okay. I mean, they, but they there was still a lot, made I mean, there was a lot of people that were linking him up to being a Muslim. And so there was some things that they were linking him because of his middle name, saying that he was a Muslim. But in fact, he is a Christian. And so I think some of it was damage um, control within the, it, within the campaign. A Christian to say, in the Jeremiah Wright School of Black Liberation Theology. I'm not so sure. No, he is a no, born no, again Christian. I'm not, as so, I'm not said, questioning his faith. No, no, no. Don't misunderstand. I'm saying, yes, he is. But he went to I, Reverend Wright's church, black liberation theology, rooted in Marxism. I am not that's here to judge a man's heart. If he says he is a born again confirmed I believe that's Christian, me, then, <laughs> then I'm going to take just, him at his word. Just kidding. All right, what do you well, think, I don't know what do you think David, of, of Carl uh, Palladino? I, you know, I, I love his 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 I love his confrontational style. He is refreshingly honest. He's got a great plan for economically for New York that, that would save New York or New York's going to be bankrupt. And, you know, the newspapers are calling him Crazy Carl. Uh, meanwhile, they're, they're, they're camped out inside, in front of his house. He's got a 10-year-old daughter. I don't blame him for being ticked off about this. And we're seeing the, the rise of the citizen legislator. They're not going to be as smooth in all cases as the polished politicians. Yeah. And I think it's outrageous what the press did taking those pictures inside about a daughter and then they what's more outrageous is for them to get on their high horse and say you invited public scrutiny and, and talking about your daughter as if that means they can go and get inside her private life yeah. I, that's outrageous Listen, liberals I, would never make that case uh, if it were if the shoe were on the other foot okay. conservatives would well, never there's, make a, case. there's a double standard between our, our current political class mm -hmm. and these new citizen legislators that are coming up but we know we know what John McCain has said and done we on the Florida the Senate in some cases, not to pick on him. We know about temper tantrums from Bill Clinton to whomever, whomever, and a lot of stuff gets said and done behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. They really want to use it against these new people coming up who are more or less citizen legislators, and I think they're doing it just to keep them down. That they wouldn't but, judge but in themselves. This case, I mean, I think this guy has a real case for having a, you know, being having the next course in anger management. I mean, this guy has a real temper, and you're seeing that I, I, time and time again. I mean, he said he was going to take a baseball bat to the legislators and all that. Does Bill Clinton have a temper? Absolutely, but so there was a way. So what? Everybody would be outraged if he did that. He's not talking about, about I mean, literally like, hitting people. Come on, that's no. I mean, that is his style, and I think that the, he's some not people, talking about that. He's not talking about hitting people. But he's saying it repeated over and over again. He's saying he wants to. He wants the system that is broke and robbing. I mean, I'll let the people of New York kids. decide. I will let the people of New York decide. But I think that at the end of the day, they're going to want no. somebody yeah, with yeah. a little bit able to control their temple and situations to be able to lead. If someone a spied state. on your ten-year-old daughter, wouldn't you have something to say to them? Answer. That's a good question. Absolutely, I would be. I would be outraged, but I would temper it. I wouldn't sit there and say, "I'm going to take you, you out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take like you Michael out. Dukakis. I'm going to no, 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 <laughs> take you out. I'm going to put you over with a baseball bat. I'm going to put you in a package." Remember what he said? Remember when Mike Dukakis was asked the question about if your wife was raped? Right. Yes. You know. Well, Bert, well, I think it was... Uh, he had no outrage at all. He had absolutely but, no okay. outrage. So if your 10-year-old so, daughter is being photographed, I would be... I, I, you, you know what? I would use a few words I probably can't and use didn't on the it happen twice? Today. Didn't yeah. it happen yeah. twice? Yeah. And, and then they're arguing with him about their right to do it. You expect, of course he's going to get outraged. He didn't just spontaneously yeah, get outraged. That wasn't the only incident. I mean, he has, he has, this is a repeated pattern. No, but see, here's the example. Now you're about his, this no, isn't sure. about his character, the issue. We're always getting distracted from the main issues in the campaigns. That, that, that's the same thing that's because happening with Because the Democrats with can't run on issues. They cannot run on issues. Right. And, and there are serious issues in California, by the way. Oh, completely. Let me ask one question. I want to go back to the immigration issue issue with Meg Whitman. Should this woman be deported? Well, I think we first have to find out if she committed a felony, <laughs> and then she may have to... Right, do, assuming, but, assuming that she was dishonest on the I-9 form, assuming that uh, that she sure, was dishonest sure. in filling out the application and, and getting a Social Security card under false premises and a driver's license, and being in the country for such a long period, should she be deported, if that's well, the case? You know, I, that's so difficult to say. Yes, sh technically she should be. What we uh, need to do is time. seal the border. Yeah, I agree with that, too. Yes or no? Difficult, I should take care of it. If she it, did all those things, should, should she, broke, she be deported? And if she broke the law, yes. yes. Of course, but, but Mike, can I ask a question? We have two seconds. 
Well, then I can't ask questions. All right. But, yeah. all right. but by the way, congrats. We Crimes Against Liberty, number one New York Times bestseller. Thank That's you. all the time we have left. Have a great weekend. Greta's next. See you Monday.